You decide 2010, Congressman Alan Grayson, of course, known for saying, well, basically what he thinks, not worrying about it, a new tech ad out on competitor Daniel Webster is getting downright nasty. It says that he tried to force rape victims to bear the child and block battered women from escaping abusive husbands. Not only that, it also compares him to the Taliban. Webster tried to deny battered women medical care and the right to divorce their abusers. Submit to me. He wants to force raped women to bear the child. Submit to me. Taliban Dan Webster hands off our bodies and our laws. So, what does Republican Daniel Webster have to say about all of that? Only on Fox 35 tonight, he joins us now live from our newsroom. Mr. Webster, thanks so much for coming in and talking to us. Hey, great to do it. All right, your thoughts when you heard this nickname, Taliban Dan? Uh, I think it's uh, it's uh, an awful thing to say because it's wrong. It's uh, it's it's over the top. It's way beyond what what really campaigning is all about. It's sad. You also, you know, he also ran the ad about calling you the draft dodger, and some other groups have come out saying that they they find the ad offensive. What do you think about that particular ad? Well, that ad was found to be totally false by a a, a actually a. A arm of the University of Pennsylvania, which uh, said that it's false. It's matter of fact, it was one that was over the top. It was the worst one they had seen all year. Now, in this particular speech that they're using in this ad, the Taliban Dan ad, where they're saying that that you uh, gave a talk where you talked about that men, sh women should submit to their husbands. What are your thoughts on that? Is this something that you believe? And, and what do you want the voters to know? Uh, actually, I said the opposite of what they uh, are showing. They showed one half of one sentence. When I was talking to a group of people about uh, a group of couples about praying for their wives, I said this. I said, why don't you not pick the ones that say, submit to me? All they used was, submit to me. So I said the exact opposite of what they're actually saying. It's wrong, and it's, again, over the top. It's way beyond what it ought to be. And, and I understand that you have said all along you really don't want to go negative with this campaign. We should mention that your wife, Sandy Webster, is joining you now. I'm going to ask Sandy here a question in just a second. But, but Mr. Webster, you've said all along that you don't want to go negative with, it, with your campaign. Are you finding it more and more difficult to, to keep with that pledge as Mr. Grayson continues to sort of beat on you? Well, not for me, but I think a lot of people that would like to take up an offense for me would like me to lash out at him, come back at him. But you know, in the end, we're trying to highlight the real issues of this campaign. We're, we're borrowing, borrowing too, too much, much money. money. We've got. got to turn the spending spigot off. We've got to bring jobs back. We've got to get the economy rolling. Our, our job rate here is in double digits in, in the Congressional District 8. And, and to me, those are the issues we ought to be talking about it. And, and really, in the end, Alan Grayson is doing nothing about those issues. And Sandy, let's go ahead and let's hear from you on this, because a lot of women are going to hear this ad, this Taliban Dan ad, and they're going to say, gosh, does Daniel Webster really think that way about women? And is he, is he anti-woman? Talk to us from your perspective as his wife, what kind of guy he's really like when it comes to women. He's absolutely not what he's being portrayed to be. And Dan is a very kind, understanding, caring man. And he loves his family. He loves me. And his words were totally taken out of context. He uh, prays for us every day, and that's what he was in, in really telling people that they should do, is pray for their wives and pray for their children. And it was in that context that he said, don't concentrate on um, submitting, but to pray for your wife and love your wife uh, is his responsibility. And he was telling people that, to, to love their wives. And uh, Dan is a kind wonderful man. I can't tell you how wonderful he is. And I think the voters of this county and this district need to understand that we're dealing with a man who's lied about us in several ads. And um, this is just one more tactic. It's horrible. It's degrading to me as a woman. Uh, like I'm supposed to be some subservient um, wife or something. It's, it's ridiculous. And Alan Grayson is a disgrace to this district. And I think if you want to elect somebody with character and integrity, who loves his family, who does what's right, then you need to vote for Daniel Webster. All right, Sandy Webster, Daniel Webster, thank you both so much for coming in tonight and talking to us about these issues. Thank you.